opportunity for fans in this building to see Davion Mitchell play defense and see what all the hype is about. Well, you see it right there. This guy absolutely is a pest. He's like that gnat that just won't go away. You can see him, you can hear him, but you can't get rid of him. He's done a tremendous job tonight, making it difficult for Utah Jazz's perimeter players to get what they want. They don't call him off night for a reason. I mean, it's it's spectacular yeah. to watch that kind of defense. I cannot get enough of it. And you see Fox here hounding Donovan Mitchell as Mitchell gets right into the paint, led there to challenge. Mitchell gets it to go. But back to Damian as he brings it up. You know he got that off night nickname? Partly from guarding Tyrese Halliburton in college. In college. Iowa State against Baylor. Tyrese admitted he was on the struggle bus the two games they went against each other. Damian held him to 2 of 12 shooting and 4 of 11. Let's see what Damian does on the offensive end. Has to get up here. Fall away. Short. Rebound Bogdanovich. Three-point game. Jazz looking to tie it up with the three. Mitchell, 28-footer. To your point about Davion and Tyrese, and that's why it's so great that he's there. You see Fox trying to take it in, but Whiteside rejects it. That's why it's so important to have a guy like that on your team, not only for what he brings you in a game, but also what he brings you in practice. Yes. You've got D Buddy Fox, D uh, Buddy Hill, De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton, all going up against him day in and day out. It's only going to make them better offensive players as well. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox has already called Davion Mitchell a top five on-ball defender in the NBA. As we have wholesale substitutions, Rashawn Holmes back on the floor for Sacramento. Marvin Bagley checking in also. Here comes Buddy Hill off the screen, throws it away. Gobert with the steal, the big fella in uncharted territory, nearly turns it away. Great hustle by Rashawn Holmes to get up there, anticipate, get in front. And this is this is a, a nice play by him because he's in foul trouble. He's had some limited minutes because he's been in a little bit of foul trouble tonight. He's got four and has only played 13 minutes. So I love that hustle play by him and, and being able to do it without the foul. And to that point, Rashawn last year would get into foul trouble and the Kings would struggle. Now yeah. you have some depth along that front line as Clarkson sees up a three all air. I mean, it really does make yeah. a difference. That was the focus uh, for Monty McNair in the offseason. You know, Rashawn had an injury and it really, really hurt this team. They need Alex Lynn. They need these guys, Tristan Thompson, behind. Buddy. Bullseye three, his fifth. Buddy with 17 points off the bench. Conley, a little stop and go move. Pascal, oh, answers back. He's Pascal. actually did a really good job rotating oh, on yeah. that play, but that just shows you how many weapons. If you've got Eric Pascal <laughs> out there hitting threes, you know you can Yeah. <laughs> Mitchell, oh, it takes his time. Heavy play by the number nine overall pick. Trent Foster, Forrest into the game for the Utah Jazz. He nearly loses it. Corner three, Clarkson. Man, I tell you, Jordan Clarkson, he is an assassin. Come in, get buckets. He fits so well into this system. I mean, he's, he's truly thrived coming to Utah. Oh, okay. Buddy Hill showing his full repertoire, getting into the paint. Buddy, 19 points leads, all scores for the Kings, coming off the bench. You look at the hustle. Shot clock down to 10, Gobert. Oh, yeah, it looks like he got away with a travel, Katie. Oh, and that'll be five on Rashawn Holmes, who can't believe it. Neither can Luke Walton. Raise your hand, Marvin. That's a moment. Hey, take one for me. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I, I've been that part. You know, you raise your hand there because it's close. They're both involved in the same play right here. See if maybe you can get one past the officials. Let's take a look. Both guys oh, battling wow. for the ball. Very, very well could have been a foul on Rudy Gobert on the rebound. 
And I feel for Rashad Holmes. Yeah, frustrating night. Only 15 minutes, five fouls. Can't get into a rhythm. I don't think I've ever seen that level of frustration for Rashawn Holmes yeah. as you see him kind of going back yeah. down in the, the King's Tunnel. You give him a moment. I mean, listen, there's going to be those nights. Go take a breath, reset, because guess what? This is a three-point game. You've They're going to need him. 13 minutes, yeah. you're going to need him, and you need his head to be in the right place. You see Luke Walton there having some words with Brent Barnacki. So we got a two-point game, 104 left to go here in the third. Sacramento looking to open up the season 2-0. Buddy turns it over instead. Clarkson. Gobert bobbles it. Oh, give me that. Going the other way, Davion Mitchell with the steal. Bagley throws it away. 12 turnovers for Sacramento. And Clarkson. Had a wide open look at a three. If I'm Sacramento, I need a good possession yes. here. 30 on the clock in the third. Tyrese, short on the jumper. You're 100% correct, Kyle. I mean, in a situation like this, you want to make sure you've had a few turnovers in a row. Make sure you go down, set it up. We talked about it earlier in the game, how important it is for them to get movement against this Utah defense. Here comes Clarkson, under five. Bagley in a defensive stance. Clarkson, got it. Jordan Clarkson gives the Jazz a one-point lead. Their first lead here in the second half. And with 12 minutes.